So now we're going to look at the case of two upstream providers, and we'll keep one local peer in here um, to keep the examples complete. It could be a single local peer, it could be an internet exchange point, and we've covered those scenarios and the examples up to now. We want to focus on the two upstreams. And we connect to both upstream providers to see the internet. So we get external redundancy and diversity the whole reason why we want to multi-home as we covered at the start of this series. And we connect to the local peers so that local traffic stays local, of course. So let's look at the diagram. We now have AS100 connecting to AS120, the local peer, and connecting to two upstreams, AS130 and AS140. Notice we have three external facing routers. Remember, the peering router should not be carrying default route or the full BGP table. So we don't want to connect the local peer to the same router we connect an upstream provider to. And notice we keep the upstream provider router separate as well. It's the whole redundancy question again. If we connected two upstreams to the same router and we lost the router, we lose both upstreams. So the minimum number in this example is three routers being required. To configure this, we announce the slash 19 aggregate on each link. We accept the default route only from the upstreams, accept all routes originated by the local peer. The configurations are the same as we saw earlier. Uh, router A's configuration is the same as in previous examples. Accept what they originate, announce to them what we originate. Router C configuration, we accept the defaults in, we send the aggregate out. Router D configuration to the other upstream, default in, aggregate out. It's a very simple configuration, though. It's not very useful either. It works, but traffic to the two upstreams will simply be nearest exit, as we've seen before. What we want to try and do now is make the load sharing much better. And the better configuration options available. Well, we could do full routing from both upstreams. That seems to be the favorite of many today. But the other way, and probably the better way, is to accept the default from one upstream and some routes from the other upstream. And we're going to look at these two cases now to show you and compare them so that you can make a choice.